Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Is 1188 a perfect cube? If not, by which smallest natural number should it be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube? We have 1188. So firstly, let us time factorize 1188. After prime factorization, we can write 1188 equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 11. Now let us see how many factors can be formed in the groups of 3. We can see only one factor get formed in the group of 3 while 2 and 11 don't form a group of 3. So we will write that since the primes 2 and 11 do not appear in groups of 3, so 1188 is not a perfect cube. Also to answer the second part of the question, we can see that if we divide this factorization by 2 into 2 into 11, then we will be left with a perfect cube. So we can write that divide 1188 by 2 into 2 into 11, that is equal to 44. So that quotient is a perfect cube. And finally, we will have 1188 divided by 44 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3. That is equal to 27. And clearly, 27 is a perfect cube. Let us read the question. Is 68,600 a perfect cube? If not, find the smallest number by which it must be multiplied to get a perfect cube. So let us prime factorize 68,600. After prime factorization, we get 68600 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 7 into 7 into 7. Now let us group them into 3's. We can see that 5 does not form a group of 3. So if we multiply this whole factorization with 5, even 5 will form a group of 3 and that number will be a perfect cube. But firstly we have to write that since 5 does not appear in group of 3, so 68600 is not a perfect cube. And to answer second part of the question, we will say that to make 68600 a perfect cube, we must multiply 8 by 5. And then we, we will get 68600 into 5 is equal to 
which is also equal to 343 0 0 and this number is a perfect cube. 